going to be talking about setting up a workstation at home. recently decided that I wanted to set up a desk downstairs instead of upstairs um, in my gym so that I could be kind of more in proximity to where I live which is often where I have a lot of my ideas so I thought that it would be best to get a desk in this space which was quite challenging because I didn't want to clutter my space too much. So what I did was I bought these trestle tables with a glass top so that it wouldn't be so bulky. With it being transparent, it's a little bit lighter and I thought it would also be a nice way to keep things uncluttered, clean and clear. So I've kept my setup really minimal. I've got This Himalayan salt lamp, I've got my MacBook Pro, which is powered by my LG Ultrafine 5K 27 inch display. And then I've got my Magic Mouse, which I've had to use a little um, notepad as a mouse pad um, because the mouse does not work on the glass. So yeah, so this is my little setup. I've got my, my Herman Miller chair over here. Ta -da. You know, quite often I'm watching TV, I have a bright idea. I think, okay, let me go jump on the computer and I need the, the larger display. I have to run upstairs, I go do something there. I kind of forget everything that I'm doing down here. And then I think, oh no, wait, oh, let me have a break. I go downstairs come watch some TV and then I forget to go back upstairs. So right now this is a much easier solution for me because I can actually work right here. It's right behind my couch. My TV is over there. And it means that I can watch TV, do some work. It doesn't mean that I'm not gonna take my MacBook and go sit on the couch and, and surf and things like that. I do tend to be one of those people who's constantly watching something on TV and working on my MacBook at the same time. Probably still even a third task and probably on my iPhone um, searching and going through social media. So I hope you guys like the setup. Please leave a comment below. Um, yeah, something I'm currently working on is I've been setting up templates for um, my thumbnails and recently I set up some templates for Instagram so that when I communicate with people I'm kind of getting my personal brand across there too and today I decided to um, allow people to ask me questions uh, anything from design, business, career advice, uh, how to create, make, whatever I've left it pretty open. I hope people start um, asking away. I really do want to give back as much as possible this year. So happy to ask uh, or answer any questions that people send me. So yeah. Another thing I wanted to talk about today, and maybe this is a bit of real talk, but it's quite often as designers, we tend to not do as much design the further up the ladder that we climb. And 
as an executive at the bank, I really don't get to do a lot of design. Um, during the day, I tend to be in meetings and I'm involved in a lot of operational stuff and it's making sure that people are where they're supposed to be and people are doing what they're supposed to do and negotiating contracts and I spend my life interviewing people, reviewing CVs and portfolios and things like that and you tend to lose the thing that kind of originally attracted you to your career which is doing design. And this goes, something is, I've noticed this as a trend actually, that a lot of designers are no longer doing design. They're also running around making sure the design system's updated, that everybody's using the right software, that people understand how to use um, the sketch files appropriately, how to save correctly. And there's a lot of really senior resources and, and even the juniors, you know, they're getting involved in all day and updating and maintaining and so on and people are doing less and less time behind the screen actually designing which I, you know in, in one way I see it as a great thing because it, it means design has become more than just pretty things and design has become the experience of things and you know people say that design is problem solving and I'm glad to see designers thinking and designers having a seat at the adult table and actually be able, being able to contribute to business problems and stuff like that. But I think at the core of all of us designers who pursued it as, a, as an outlet, probably in part to artistic expression, sitting behind a screen is crucially important. And I'm going to make it my mission in 2019 to do design for nonprofits, for myself, just saying how would I design something better and then, you know, doing things like logo challenges. And last year I started doing a 30 day logo challenge. I'm going to give it another go this year and I hope I'll, I'll get to share um, some of the work that I do. Okay, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or jump on my Instagram. There's the handle over there. Um, far away, I'm really happy to answer anything that, you know, uh, you can ask me anything, personal or business or career or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.